you have also heard countless times people telling you you have to spend more time with God, have to spend more time with God, but you just have no idea where to start and how to do it. Well, you clicked on the right video. Let us get into the gist of it all. Hi there, I'm Kinsani Misi. I create content on faith, wellness, and personal development. If these are topics that you find genuine interest in, please be sure to hit the little subscribe button down in this video so you can also be part of the awesome Kinsey Squad. I release videos every Monday, and I'm so excited to have you join the family. I'm Kinsani Misi on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I'd like to give you a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Remember to be subscribed and hit that notification bell. So today let us talk about how to spend time with God. Yes, we talk about it all the time. It's very important to dedicate time to God in your day. Remember, it's a relationship. I always say, see it just like as any other relationship. The more you nurture it, quality time, all of that, the better and the more healthier the relationship will become. So our relationship with God is exactly that. It is a relationship after all. So with that, it means that you have to be intentional with it and you have to be intentional with spending time with God. Today I'm going to be giving you at least, let me count how many tips I'm giving. Um, one, two, three, four. Today I'm going to be giving six tips or six ways in which you can spend some time with God. In case you're confused and you don't know how to spend time with God, this is the perfect time to talk about it all, okay? So with all of that being said, let us get right into these tips because I don't want to waste no time. <laughs> the first one, which is not, I'm not sure if it's the most obvious, but either way, that is Bible study. The Word of God is power. The Word of God is sharper than any two double edged sword, okay? The Word of God is power and God speaks to us through His Word too. So when you dedicate time to read your Bible and to read the Word of God, you are dedicating time to hear the voice of God. And remember our relationship with God once again, it's a relationship which means it's a two way street. You can't be talking the whole entire time and not hearing what He has to say to you and your life and that is what reading the Word of God does. It allows you to hear his voice it allows you to hear God's take on certain things now I said Bible study and you're probably still very confused how do I start my Bible how do I study my Bible where do I start there are a couple of books that I would recommend to start when or start at when you're studying the Bible and that is the book of Mark Matthew um, as well as Proverbs. Proverbs is a book of wisdom, especially if you're striving to live, you know, a life that is intentional and glorifying to God. So those are the books that I would recommend. And a Bible study method that I would recommend is the SOAP method. I have recommended this on my channel before, but the SOAP method is a very simple Bible study method that I'll actually recommend when you are doing your Bible study. And I'll actually explain how it is done so in order to do the soap method the s it's like soap is like s o a p you know what i'm trying to say the s stands for scripture so basically what you do is you find your scripture maybe you're going to be reading in proverbs, proverbs 5 verse whatever you find your scripture i always recommend when you study your bible have your bible and have a journal so that you could journal all of these things down and then in your journal you're just going to write a s which is for scripture i always recommend rewriting the scripture the word of god says you must meditate on the word of god that it shall not depart our mouth okay so when you write the scripture try to reread it and meditate upon it day in or day out even when you do your bible study in the morning try to meditate on that scripture throughout the day but back to the soap method so the S is for scripture you write down the scripture you could just literally rewrite it from your bible say it out loud and then move over to the o the o is for observation so from the scripture that you have written above what observations have you made or what have you observed from that scripture so you're going to write down all of those observations and then the a is for application that is to say okay I have my script, my scripture, I have my observations, how can I apply this? Or from reading the scripture, what changes can I implement or apply in my life or in the life of others? What can I do to apply the scripture? 
and then the p is for prayer right after that you pray i always recommend to also journal that prayer and pray out loud as well prayer is communication with god god hears our prayers and he's always 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 faithful and just enough to answer them so the first way to spend time with god is through bible study second way to spend time with god which is tip number two is actually something i've touched on just a bit on the last tip or on the previous tip and that is prayer prayer is a game changer because the truth of our prayer is it is you and god having a conversation and one mistake that i see a lot of christians or believers that you know we make at times is to only take prayer as a monologue as a or as a one-way street where we're constantly making our requests known to god and there's nothing wrong about that and we're communicating with him but we are not expecting to hear his voice prayer is communication with God and when you communicate with God he's faithful enough to give you an answer so normalize praying but don't just pray Jay. pray and be expectant to hear from God pray and be expectant for him to respond to you one of the things that I do when I pray is I even ask God questions like God what do you think of this <laughs> So prayer is also a great way to spend time with God, literally talk to God and you don't even have to overcomplicate it or you have to go down on your knees and you have to, you can do that. However, prayer, you can literally be praying at the grocery store. You can literally be praying in the car. You could literally be praying at your workplace. And this is why part of this, I would also recommend prayer walks. So prayer walks is basically dedicating time to just walk and pray. You don't have to pray out loud, you just pray in your heart, but just dedicate time of quietness and stillness to communicate with God. You can pray for anything, anyone. You can even pray for your neighborhood where you're walking at or walking around in. So prayer is definitely one of my top ways of connecting with God and spending more time with God. You can also use a prayer journal. This is what I use. And the thing I love about using a prayer journal is that you can always go back to it and see how God has answered your prayers, what you have said. And I always put dates onto it because I know, oh, this is what God said in this particular date. And this is how it got answered. So do it any way that is comfortable to you. I always, and I always, always encourage authenticity. Do whatever way that works for you. So even with the things that I'm recommending, find something that is suitable for you and that works for you. Next up is one of my faves and that is praise and worship music, particularly or specifically worship music. There's something about just playing worship music and you just find yourself in the presence of God and you're just soaking in his presence and it's just his presence is so felt it's like you feel him give you this tight hug when you're going through something you feel him being right there next to you have a praise and worship playlist I do I have a worship playlist I have a praise playlist and try to keep it updated to make it more enticing for you and make it more easier for you to want to refer back to it so definitely consider worship this can also take place anywhere i always say our relationship with god must constantly remain as a personal relationship and never for once should it move from that into being too religious or religion do it wherever because god is with you wherever okay it's like this thing of only wanting to be in the presence of god on sundays listen you listen you the presence of god could be with you at any place at any time literally if we don't go in and out the presence of god we carry the presence of god with us Ooh, that's a flex <laughs> So get in the habit of and also if you struggle with circular music or all of that thing try to substitute it for praise and worship create a playlist make it nice for you find your taste in you know gospel music and all that it is one of my absolute faves and listen let me tell you something if you don't have the music you're about to use your voice and you're about to praise and you're about to worship the lord because 99 percent of the time that's what i do okay a song can literally drop down in my spirit and i'll start singing it okay because the bible says we worship him in truth and in spirit right so even if the voice is not there just do it <laughs> Next up is also one of my favorites. I think I've said my favorites, my favorite, my favorites so much, but I think that's a sign of how much I love 
spending my time in the presence of God but the next tip or the next way in which you can spend time with God is through devotionals if you are confused you don't know where to start you don't know which scripture to read you don't know how to read your Bible the best thing I'd recommend you do is visit your nearest bookstore guys there's my favorite and it is CUM books not entirely sure how it's pronounced but listen if you're in South Africa, definitely do visit that store. They have a bunch of devotionals from different authors and you could basically browse through that, select a devotional and you could use it every morning, every night, whenever you choose to have your quiet time with God. It is so convenient, it assists you a great deal and to anyone that is still like a beginner in their faith journey, 100% recommend devotionals or even to someone that has a very busy schedule and you just don't know and to yeah to someone that's just so busy you don't know how to spend time with God you don't know how to prioritize it devotionals are the way to go and then next up are podcasts listen I can't tell you how hearing other people speak the word of God impacts you or learning about something through a podcast I always say it's always entirely good to empower yourself to ensure that you are listening and you guard the gates of your ear or your ear gates and make sure that you're only hearing things that are building you that are building your faith that are making you the woman that you want to be okay so with that I definitely do recommend in podcasts i'll probably put up some of my favorite podcasts that i do listen to however you could browse through the i think it, there's even like a category of christian podcasts that you could listen to or faith related podcasts and it literally helps a great deal because even on the days when you're extremely in a hurry and don't know how to spend time with god podcasts are the way to go and the last thing I recommend in this video are sermons. Oh, if you haven't gotten into listening to sermons, listen, put on a sermon on YouTube, get your journal, get your pen, and start listen, writing that down. Because listen, God speaks to us in different ways. And one of the ways God speaks to us is through people. So even a channel like mine can assist you a great deal when it comes to that. But find sermons from different pastors from different whatever you know that is suitable to you and for you i just usually just research sermons and whatever pops up i listen to and it's so amazing listen if i tell you this 99 percent of the time when i do that i select a sermon that just I, I do not even know or i don't even know the person preaching but when i select that sermon i'm like oh this is so good it speaks directly into me into my heart and into exactly what i'm going through so do not underestimate podcasts and sermons and those are the tips that i'm going to give you guys on this video i hope that they help you and they encourage you to take that of faith and actually prioritize and be intentional with spending your time with God. Talking about intentionality, it is important to realize that spending time with God does require you to be intentional about it. It requires you to put in effort and also consistency is key. But do it even on the days you don't feel like it. With all of that being said, I hope this helped and I will see you guys on my very next video. Until next time, bye guys, I'm out. <laughs>